everybody, welcome back. Um, I got a journal to share with you guys today. I've been working on this one for a little while and I'm really happy with how it's come out. It's a fabric journal. Um, it measures five and a half by eight and a half inches and it's got about a one inch spine. And I'll show you the back there. I've stitched the um, closure, which is cotton and seam binding that I've, I've run through the machine. I've stitched that to the journal. And then it's covered with some uh, vintage fabric that I had. And then on the front, what I've done here is I've just created, like, it's a little music sheet pocket and what I've done is I've sandwiched some vintage music sheet between some wax paper and then I ran that through the machine and then I covered it with some lace and added um, this little embellishment there with some cheesecloth behind it that's all been stitched on so you've got a pocket in the front now that's all been adhered to the cover so that's permanent and then you can tie that back and then along with that I've got like a digital postcard I printed out and then this is a vintage I don't know if this it's not a postcard I don't know if it was a greeting card cover but I thought that went along nicely and then this is a really old um, postcard so I just put all those on the front and I thought that was really really cute um, it just looks like a stack of letters there on an envelope. <clears throat> so we'll go inside. This is a two signature um, journal. It's been sewn in with the five hole pamphlet stitch. On the front here I've created a little tuck spot here and here with a couple of little digital printouts and then this just a little printout here and then this is one of the um, glassine receipts so I've done the tutorial for the envelope earlier um, but this is just a little receipt I did and I've tucked that in there and then here is a handmade tag And there we go. So this is the kit that I used is the Seneca Pond. Um, it's the mercantile um, kit. So that's what the papers are from this. And what I've done is I printed them out and then I stitched them to some tea dyed papers. They're really, really pretty papers. A lot of pinks in this um, kit. And there's a lot of blues as well. So it's a really nice kit. Here I've done a um, pocket with a tag. Here's another um, vintage receipt that I've gotten off the internet. I just printed that out. That's been tucked in there. And just various um, journaling cards I've got for my stash. I'm not going to name all of the kits because there's so many, but the main pages are uh, Seneca Pond, so I will include the link to that kit in my description box. And here I've printed out on a time card. And then this is um, two little tuck spots I've created here. And this is some Prima paper. I'm just trying to get through various papers um, that I've had um, and it just all seemed to work nicely with this um, kit from Seneca Pond so I'm really happy with how it's come out. I love these colors. Got a lot of fresh teals in there, some cream, the pretty pinks. Isn't that a beautiful page? Um, all the papers have been tea dyed. I don't know if I said that already. And here 
<clears throat> I've just put various things. This is an old index card. It's got a nice yellow color to it and just a couple of little um, vintage playing cards I've had in my stash. I'm really, really trying to dwindle things down. Um, so I'm going to carry on trying to get rid of these things, guys. It's um, high on my list of things this this next month I want to really focus on getting through my papers, all my scraps, so I'm, I'm hoping I can come up with some really unique ideas on how to use them. Here's a tag I made. Um, I did lots of layering on here. This has got some of the Tim Holtz wildflower cutouts, some doily, and just lots of layering, a little bit of um, old trim. I'll just clip that in there. I love this paper. This is from the uh, Mercantile Kit. <coughs> and this is another one of the pages. So pretty. Here, um, you guys probably recognize this. I did a tutorial on this the other day. It's got stamped The Time of Our Lives. So I've just put that in this little pocket. This is a music sheet, vintage music sheet pocket, and then I've added this so you could do some journaling there. Here I've taken some um, cotton fabric and did a um, ruffle, and I've attached that to the paper. That's the center of the first signature. And here is another double tuck spot, and just another printout I had. Some more writing paper. Here's another tuck spot I've made. And then this is just the back of that uh, vintage newsprint bag. There's a close up of that page. I love that. The colors are so pretty. You get some tabs in the kit, which is really nice. And this is another page from it. And then just a little envelope. Now this was a um, freebie from Nick the Booksmith, so if you like that, you'll have to check her site for those. She offers a lot of freebies. So thank you, Nick, for that. We appreciate it. Did some stenciling here. And then this page, I've done a fabric, and then I took uh, some doily, stitched all that on added another piece here for a tuck spot and a pocket. So a tuck spot here and then the pocket back here. And just a couple more little places to journal. A couple little flips. And then this is the second signature. This is a tsunami rose. I remember that. Um, so you could find those in her shop. And I don't recall where I got this one from, but this is just another <coughs> digital printout I've had. This is another page from the kit. I love that. And here's a pocket. Um, that is not part of the kit. That was from something else. So I just had it a leftover, and I thought it went well with this, so I've added that in there. Love that page. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, the colors are really nice in this. Um, here, this is another Tsunami Rose pocket. I love those pockets. I've used those a lot in my journals. They're really nice little pockets. And then just various... Um, this ticket is from the kit, and then these are just from other <coughs> other um, kits I had leftover things from. A little glassing bag. Some more writing paper. Here, I've just done a little flip up. So you can do some journaling up here. And this is another of the pages from the kit. Isn't that pretty? And this page, we've got um, a pocket and another tuck spot 
and then I just created a big journaling card there and another little journal card there. And then on this page I've done a floating pocket and I attached this little embellishment. I did a tutorial on that. So if you're interested you can check that out. I'll put those in the I'll put the tutorials in the link below as well for the um, embellishments that are in here that I've done that. And then here on the back of this journal card I put a little pocket. So it's just a floating. Oh boy, it doesn't want to go back in there. <laughs> it's just a little floating pocket. And you could uh, glue this down if you wanted to, but I like them just clipped in. Doily. And this is another page from the it. And this little pocket is in there as well. And the rest of these are just, like I said, various kits that I've I've accumulated over the years. And here's another little glassine pocket. There we go. Um, another tab that comes in the kit as well. And that's another of the pages. Isn't that pretty? And this little pocket comes in it as well. So I stitched it together to make two pockets out of it. So you've got there. And then here I've added a couple of the vintage. These are vintage cigarette cards I've put in. And then these are just various journaling cards. <coughs> Excuse me. I think I'm about to get over the cold, guys. I'm hoping by tomorrow I'm back to normal. Here I've made another little tuck spot. And then on this side I've got two tuck spots here. Um, another journal card. I believe this was Seven Gypsies. And then this is another of the little floral postcards I recently picked up at one of the shops here. I love those. They are so cute. And then that's another page from the Mercantile Kit. I love that. And then this is the back of the journal. Here I've just stitched the Mercantile onto that tag. And then a couple of other little journaling tags there. And then a tiny little tag tucked away there. And that's the back of the journal. So there you have it. This journal is going to be listed in my website, so if you are interested, I'm going to put the uh, link below. And I appreciate you guys stopping by. I'll put the links to everything um, in the description box. Hope you guys are having a great week, and I'll see you soon. Bye.